Hello from snowy Tennessee everybody. I decided to do four activities instead of just three this time because one of them requires snow. So the last one is just winter themed. So let's get going. What is it? Snow. Snow. It's cold. Is this real snow? Yes. It's you can paint it. Yeah. Yeah. Is this color? green. Paint it. How cool. Wow! What do you think? Cool. Your paintbrush. It's melted. It melted? Mm -hmm. Yep, pull it up. There you go. Now spray it on your snow. Whoa. Now pull the piece up. Keep it in the water. Keep it in the water. Nope, put it in the water. Now pull the piece up. There you go. Good job. Pick up the blue cup and pour a little bit into that empty cup. Good job, okay. Now let's mix it with yellow. What color do you think it'll make? Blue and yellow. Orange. A Brachiosaurus. What do you think it is, Mace? A Brontosaurus. A Brontosaurus. How do you know the difference? Because long, what he said doesn't have these. Brontosaurus, Brontosaurus has these. Oh, okay. Colton, do you know what number your blue one is? Mm -hmm. What? Thank you. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna put two clothespins on his back to give him some spikes, okay? This is gonna be for a pet. Open it back up. There you go. And what number is it? Um, two. Okay, so how many more pins do we need? One. Good job. One more, Colton. Give him another spike. Yes, you can. Squeeze the very back. There you go. You're going to put it on his tail? Ouch. Ouch. Okay, but what, what number is your blue one? Okay, and you want to do your green one?
Okay, Colton, do you know what this spells? C-O-L-T-O-N. What does that spell? <laughs> it sounds like Blippi, huh? That's Colton. So what letter is this? No, what letter is that? It's a C. Do you know this one? That's right. Okay, so find the letter C on the snowman. Which snowman has a C? Yeah, now which, which piece has a C on it? I see both of them. Do you see a C? Yeah. Where's the C? There it is. Put it on the C on the top piece. Put it on the C on your name. <laughs> Here, slide it off the table. Now grab it. Okay, put it on the C on your name. And then what's the next letter? What's the next letter? Okay, get an O, snowman. Yep. Put them on your name. Okay. Put them in there. Is it O? No, where's the O? That's what I know. This is an O. They're both O's. There's two O's in Colton's name. Put it on your O. We're spelling your name. What? It's after C. Oh yeah, you can do them both. Good job. Now, do you know what this is? Do you know what this one is? What? L. C O L. Find the L and put it on there. Flip it over. You have it the right one, but put it on the put it on the L spot. Where does the L go? Colton, where does the L go? Yes, you do. C O L. Mm-hmm. Do you know what this letter is? What? We have C O L. T. Where's the T? Where's the T? Which one matches that? Yeah, that one. Good job. Can you get it on the T? I know, Mason. Oh, mommy's tummy's growling. I'm hungry. Put it on the T. Good job. So, ready? C O L. T O N. That's right. Put the N on there. Good job. Way to go, Colton. High five. Five. Okay, Mason, tell me what letters those are. A, S, E, I, O, U. Yep. Capital. They are capital. Do you know what else they are? A, E, I, O, and U are. C-A-B-C. They are, but they're vowels. Oh, yeah. They're the vowels. So we are going to make some words, okay? Okay. Okay, so we are going to make at words, okay? So what would happen if you put an H on that first snowman? Write an H on there. This one? Write an H on this one. Colton. Colton. Do your name. Good job. Okay, so now put those two together. And what word does that make? Sound it out. Good job. What if you erase the H and make it a B? All right, put them together. Together. Yeah, what does it say? Good job. What if you made it a C? C. What's that say? At cat. That's right. What about an S? What's that say? Set. That's right. Okay, write an H. There, which side? Right there. Write an H. My dog, 
Okay, Colton, you can be done. Now put it up at the top where I had it by the other one. Okay, and now take the other one and write a T. Okay, now leave a gap in between them and let's put, leave a space. Okay, now let's put an A in the middle. An A? No, you already have that, I remember. Get out of here, plane. All right, what does that say? A hat. Good job. What if you replace the A with an O? An O. Mm-hmm. Um, boy, you pouch. Now what does it say? Co. No, send up. What does O say? Good job. What if you replace the O with an I? An I? Mm -hmm. Not really hard. It's not hard. You've got this. What does that say? Hi. No, what does I say? There's no sneaky E at the end, so what does it say? It. Hit. That's right. And what about a U? Put an I where, a U where the I is. Oops, we flipped him upside down. <laughs> Replace it with the U. Come on. Where's the U? Okay. Yeah, let me hold that. Okay, now flip the H back the right way. He's upside down. What does that say? You. What does you say? You. Look at me. What does a you say? What? Mm, that's Wink. a W. Wink. Uh. Hut. Hut. That's right. What's a hut? A hut is like a straw house. I'll show you.